yeah. having just group texts and stuff totally like that fulfilling. is all I need. Bing yeah. bong! Yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't even see it coming that time, did you? I'm with you, though. Mob's fulfilled. Yeah, Mob's He's... fulfilled. I'm happy for Mob. Totally fulfilling, says Kay. Um, cool. Guys, welcome to the Cineboys podcast, part of the Cork Bats podcast network. If you don't know what Cork Bats is, be sure to follow them on social media at Cork Bats on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Be sure to visit youtube.com slash Cork Bats for videos on demand. And also visit our website, CorkBats.com. Um, we are the Cineboys, the movie, TV, and gaming branch of Cork Bats. You can follow us here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Cineboys. Keep up with us on social media at the Cineboys on Twitter and Instagram. Guys, real fun. Real special episode for you. Are you are you amped? Yeah, I'm yoked. Well, uh, you're yoked. I'm yoked. Really, you've, you've been, been working hitting, out, bro. I'm yoked. Gym? You've been you've been lifting, throwing around some weights. Trying. Yeah. What what Not are you really. what are you throwing around these days, dude? I just do knee exercises because I'm uh, all about mobility these days. You, you kind of ability. Lose. You and uh, Tom Brady. You get to that point where you're just like, you know what? I don't really care about like having the the hottest bod anymore. I just care about like being able to do things and not hurt after I do them. That's, That's my fair. biggest drive. So I'm um, right now I'm just doing like knee mobility because I want to go skiing and I want to like not be in terrible shape for skiing. That's all I care mm-hmm. about right now. Mm-hmm. Anyways, like I said, very That's- fun. Very That's special episode. Guess what? We're doing another tier list. Because apparently, we found our niche. Like, we do our new story podcast, and then we do a tier list. Because tier lists are fun. There's always good content. We get in arguments. We have fights. It's the best. I love fighting with you guys. I do, too. I wouldn't... I would. I don't want to fight with anybody else. I was... Honestly, I was thinking about our last tier list this morning, and just how, like, how it went, and how... I I still feel about Coda and that we overrated it. Yeah, it's it it eats away. I don't want to do this again. I can't. <laughs> I feel like I already spent enough mental energy on this, and the fact that I like made the clip of that, I had to like relive it, and I didn't want to do it all over again. So yeah, I guess you. let's well let's um, just all agree that Coda is a top tier, and then we can move on. Yeah, we'll we'll revisit it next year. We will revisit it next year, so we have a chance to correct any any mistakes that we made. Um, so I might buy Coda off on on Blu-ray just so I can watch it. Yeah. Every does, couple it, does Apple does Apple TV like do they do that? I, I, no, I honestly, there's no physical that? version. I honestly yeah. don't know. No that physical is, version. That's that's not there will change. be eventually. That, I'm sure. Does that? I don't help? know. Maybe not. I don't know. Does that help shape your? It, it's not. It's not God tier anymore for you, is it? Uh, it has nothing to do with the argument. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Well, as don't you can know. see, Tom is no longer here with us, and that sounded bad. It was not the way. I wanted yeah, you to did work. that last episode so too, and it made it sound like he died. He's gone to a better place. Tom is not here, which is to, being a dad. Yeah, Tom is not here today. He will be back. Yeah. He is on dad duty, um, but he will be back soon. Case says R A P Tom. Um, but yeah, again, we're gonna do a tier list, and this is gonna be a fun one. They're all fun, but this one's especially fun because we've been wanting to do this one for a while. We just haven't had time. Uh, we finally got it on the schedule. Today, we are going to rank, and we're going to tear up movie snacks. This could be movie mm. theater. I guess it could apply to, like, if you're watching a movie at home. Um, I suppose. Well, we got yeah, a lot for sure. Of, a lot of snacks, a lot of drinks to get to. Um, so let's get rolling. Here you go. Here's the tier list, live and in person. So we've got, I don't know how many snacks we got on here. There's quite a bit. And I think there's some. There's a penis in there. We'll what? talk about the penis. It's not a penis. <laughs> I saw that too. We'll do that one first, I think. Um, so there's a That's lot so to get gross. to. I still don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. It's oh, like you... in the middle, man. Yeah. We'll talk about it here in a second. Um, so here's how this works. If you have followed our you streams in the it. past, if you listen to our podcast, um, if you're listening to this podcast, I'm sure you will enjoy it. We do highly recommend, if you can, checking out the VOD on corkbats.com, or excuse me, youtube.com slash corkbats uh, to see how this goes. But we have five different categories here, uh, five different rankings. The top one is, of course, God Tier, which is pretty much there on every single one we do. God Tier is going to be the snack that we consider to be far above everything else there'll probably be a few on here that'll that'll rank there then there's good which is just you know your regular everyday snack you you associate it with the movie theater maybe you don't get it every time but every once in a while it's worth visiting 
Uh, and then the third tier is if it's free, I'll eat it, which is basically the ones that it's just like, I'm never going to pay for that. But if somebody gives it to me while I'm watching a movie, I'll probably snack on it. Uh, and then the next one is I'd rather starve. These are the trash ones. These are the garbage snacks that nobody should eat. Um, and and we'll, we'll be very, very blunt about those when we get to it. And then, of course, there's the last tier, which is not suitable for theaters, which I think this can also include the snacks on here that we've never had at a theater. Um, but but typically snacks that, you know, this it's not theater food. You don't eat it at the theater. So um, I have one. I feel like there's a very specific kind of theater snack where you know it's disgusting. You know it's probably made of something awful, but for some reason you like it anyway. What is that? What what would you call that? I mean, I guess it is that free I'll eat it, but it's like you know it's bad, but you like it for some weird reason. Um, Cuz I feel like there's a couple of those on here where it's like this isn't good. The the setting is making me eat this. I would kind probably of, You know what I mean? put that under if it's free I'll eat it. Would yeah. be the, probably a good, good and we can get that. there because i'm not sure what that is okay like okay. yeah <laughs> i don't, we'll I don't know <laughs> k says that's I dots like imo dots. k with the dots. love dots we had a we, we, had a pre- we were a pro dots podcast it's funny you say that because we had a very very a very pro dots discussion before we we hopped into this because it's mm-hmm. not on our mm-hmm. list but it should be and i apologize but we'll i think we say, can all agree dots are you love to you love to have them, but you hate to eat them. Mm-hmm. No man, that makes sense. I think dots... I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, and I, I I like because they get stuck in your teeth, and everyone always complains about it's that. brutal. Yeah, I, I would, don't care. I, would, I love dots. I would no, probably I mean, I'll say eat them for sure. Yeah, I, I would dots. probably if dots were on here, it would be if it's free, I'll eat it. Do you know what's embarrassing though about <laughs> they're god tier for me? Is so I will happily like our friend. I would. I almost never buy movie theater candy at the theater. I'm a big buy it at the at the Walgreens, Walgreens before you go in. But I'm not going to go into the theater and ask specifically for dots. Right. Like, imagine just be like, can I have some dots and a ticket and then nothing else? Hey, if it's free, <laughs> I'll eat it. All right. Well, we got a lot of these to get to. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to jump right off into the one that looks like a penis since we already talked about it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just, a big, it's just a big pickle. It's just a big, oh, just a big pickle. That, that, okay. that, that, yeah. When the you pickle. see it, you see it. All right. Yeah. Where would we put the big pickle on here? I'd rather starve. You'd rather uh, what? Yep. I. So I like pickles, Me too. but I'm Ugh. never. I'm never just gonna go munch on a pickle. <laughs> I. I am. I oh, think. I, I bet you would. I'm in the category of good. I love pickles. I absolutely love them. I would I, I would I would eat the pickle. Kate likes to eat pickles and then try to kiss me because she knows how much I hate it. Ugh. I don't think that's mean by the way. Yeah. Um I think I'd rather starve than eat the pickle. Wow. I'd rather starve. Well, I mean that's too far I'd rather starve. Y- even if it's free, you're not going to eat it? No. No, I don't Kay think says, I would. Kay says, would I eat one? I'm glad Kay's here, because since Tom's not here, we're going to need a fourth voice. And Kay says, yeah. would I eat one in a movie theater? No, I'd rather die. So yeah. I guess Something pickles... about the movie theater makes it so much worse. If I'm going to get a sandwich, yeah, I'll eat a pickle. Yeah. But I, the fact that you're just like in a movie theater or surrounded by other people just watching you eat this pickle. Mm-hmm. But also, know. look how big that pickle was. It's a big uh, pickle, it's, dude. It's, They're always huge. And oh. the fact that you have to like, yeah. I, well, here's what I'm I'll with say. You. In 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 kind of going along with you guys, and, and Kay said it. She says she likes pickles. I love pickles. I love a good pickle. I feel like a pickle is not a good movie theater snack because it just the um the it's very moist, and I just yeah. feel like it's not inducive oh, to. They always give it to you in like a bag too, which is freaks me out. And you're just like eating this pickle out of a bag with the pickle. It's like, what are we doing here? And imagine you're in Creed. And and Michael B. Jordan is pouring his heart out to Sylvester Stallone, and Sylvester Stallone is saying, "If I could take all the good things that have ever happened to me in my life and trade them in for one more day with Adrian, I'd do it." And then you you're about to cry, and then you hear, How! "I'd I'd I'd fight that person." That's fair. Actually, I wouldn't because they just bit into a pickle, so I'd run away from them and because it's gross. Yeah, Kay says, can you imagine someone crunching a very fragrant pickle next to you in a theater? Oh, That's a good point. The fragrant pickle. That's they are fragrant. Than... They're not They're not a quiet smell. So Speaking I... of 
I oh, agree they're not suitable for theaters, but I, I also would rather die than eat a pickle. Yeah, mom's not a pickle boy. Never I'd probably put been. not suitable, but you guys will say that. Kay said she'd rather die than eat one in the theater, so I think that's pretty pretty, pretty strong. Um, okay, well, let's move on to the next one. So let's start. Uh, we'll just kind of go in order f- moving on from now on. So we've got the Airheads Rope. Um, if it's I free, I'll eat it. that's a free, I'll eat yeah, it type yeah, thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know the last time I had an Airheads Rope. Yeah, in elementary school. I'm gonna like. I love candy. Who doesn't? I, I just, too. I just love candy. So like, too. if that's free, if it's free, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you've got a bowl of, basically any candy, I'm gonna just eat it. Would you? But I'm not. I'm not going up to the counter and say, "Give me a ticket for Crude's Five and some Airhead Rope." Yeah, that's fair. Um, I, I would probably put Airheads Rope and Airheads in that same category. Yeah, I think I think we can toss Airheads in as well. So I I like Airheads. I don't see it as like a movie snack. Yeah. So yeah, if it's free, I, I eat it's free. I'll strictly eat it. think of Airheads as like a a prize you win in like fifth grade. Yep, it's a great doing school. something. It's a yeah. grade school like teach. It's cheap, so teachers will buy it and they can give it to you for reward. Mm-hmm. You can exactly pick the different colors. Yeah. I think of it as best color by the way. A, you're at a swim meet. Oh. And or at the pool, and that's what the concession stand is selling. Yeah. Dude, that's a good one. Like, you get an airhead and maybe some mozzarella sticks, and then you just have the weirdest lunch of your life. Yeah. yeah. But it's summer, but so. But it's awesome. Yeah. Man. All right. So, airheads, rope, and airheads. If it's free, we'll eat it. All right. Moving on. Alcohol. Hmm. Here's what I would say. I'd say God tier. I don't drink anymore. It's been a few years since I've had anything to drink, but, I mean... The the concept when it was first, like, the first notion of, like, oh, you can have a beer in a movie was, like, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know. The what? concept is is great. Yeah. yeah. There, I'd rather have other things to drink when okay. I'm at a movie, which is why I'm not. I got caught by this before. It was the first one, like, in that arena, and I put it in God tier. And then I realized it doesn't deserve to be up there. Okay. And I kind of feel like that's what, like, I kind of feel, because if I'm going to a movie, I'm going to have a beer if I'm going that route. But I tend to go go towards other things that I would rather. I kind of agree with Mob. I think the, I don't quite associate having a beer with a movie like I do with other events, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Right. Also, like, so if you're going to a sporting event, God dear. Yeah, God if you're going to a baseball game, give me a beer. Okay, so would, um, we, would we say maybe good? I think yes, so. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, good. I also don't drink anymore as well, so I kind of the same deal, but there you go. I, I, the idea of having a glass of wine in a movie is nice. Now, I think theater plays a big part of that. If you're just going to your crappy uh, declining Form 8, and you're having a beer there it's like why am i having a beer in this in this musty they don't even sell it terrible yeah of course they don't even sell it. So but yeah, like if they did it it'd be like even weird i mean yeah it i be feel hard. like if you're getting full meals in there yeah i feel like if you're getting a beer at a movie you're at like an alamo draft house you gotta be in a recliner theater. yeah for sure yeah. on a couch something yeah it's just not what i associate with my movie going experience that's fair yeah that, that's how I, I agree I agree. All right. Well, we'll put it in the good tier, and then let's move on to Bunch of Crunch. <laughs> um, oof. That's free. I'm eating it. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think so, because it's not bad, I, but I'm just – I'm never going out of my way to – I feel like a lot a of candy is going to fall in this category, and there's going to be yeah. a few candies that we're going to shit on. Because like Mom <laughs> said, I love most candy. I'll eat – I just love Both. candy. I'll eat candy. I, yeah. But – yeah okay Except for a couple well, if it's there. free i'll eat it all right what about butterfinger bbs see i don't I know think, what those are I, I think i'd rather starve you'd rather what are starve? those it's, it's basically just little, oh you don't like butterfingers yeah Trash. dude uh, i think uh, i think butterfinger is kind of an underrated candy bar. me i agree Ugh. i'm with i'm with you on this one kevin i love butterfingers like i also love i like kind of the old school candy bars like that and like baby ruth Give me a baby Ruth. Mm, old man candy. Yeah, like, give me the old man candy bar. If you're going to make peanut butter and chocolate, just give me actual peanut butter. Not this whatever. No, I li- the, whatever. I like, 
Butterfinger is. I like the crunch. Oh, oh. I, like the cr- I, like I would put crunch. Butterfinger BBs and Butterfingers in good. It, okay, are BBs like Reese's Pieces? Yeah, exactly. Uh, They're Butterfinger? like just so, little, yeah. little. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember nuggets. back in the day they had like Reese's Bites too? Mm-hmm. They were little yeah. circles. That's yeah. that's what it is. Okay. Okay. So I think I I would go free. I'll eat it. Okay. Potentially, but Mob sounds like he hates it. So, so. I think we probably think put it free. Kenny, I'll eat it. Yeah, because Kenny yeah. said he'd put it good. So we're gonna put Butterfinger BBs and Butterfinger. It looks like I have bites there, but we'll just say Butterfingers as well. I can already tell we're gonna run out of. We're going to need a lot of space for free yeah, category here. For sure. I think a lot of, like I said, a lot of candy is going to get into that category unless we hate the candy. All right. Next one. I oh. think this is going to kind of fall in the same category as alcohol, yeah. but uh, chicken fingers. Okay. I love chicken fingers. Me too. Love them. Had them at But I Alamo. don't think they have, I don't think the movie theater is the place for them. I That's had, my I had opinion. chicken fingers at Alamo Draft House last night and they were really good, but. Alamo Draft House is kind of its own. Like you have to put anything you would get at Alamo Draft House kind of in its own category yeah. because right. it's actually really good food. See, that's the thing. That if you get have. a bad chicken finger, it's gonna be like soggy, maybe not hot. Mm-hmm. Like probably was frozen for the last three years. Would we say not suitable for theaters? That's uh, it's mm. it's this is where it's tough because it's suitable for some theaters. Right. And it's a very specific brand of theater, which is like an Alamo draft house. Yeah. Should like, we have another category that's like uh, only an Alamo? It's all it's, it's all. Yeah. Only like sit down restaurant theater, basically, because that's basically what Alamo well, what is. what if we change not suitable for theaters to only for Alamo? How do we feel about that? Uh, just yeah, yeah maybe actually remember the, maybe remember the Alamo is that category. Yeah. And on. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Because like think about think about it. You're at a ragtag. And you got a couch, and now you got a bucket of chicken fingers. Like, where are you dipping? Well, you, okay, ragtag's not where the. Are you sousing? You can get good food at ragtag, and they have the little tables. Oh, not they do in now? the little theater. Not in the little theater. Because if you're just on a couch with like other people right. trying to eat a chicken finger, that's pretty messed up. Or, or you're like, even even when I went to like a Regal, mm-hmm. like, yeah, they have recliners and stuff, but it just it's it's but a then, different yeah, feel, and you don't have anywhere to put the food. Yeah, so I would say let's let's go ahead and put chicken fingers in Remember the Alamo. Maybe okay, we move alcohol down to Remember the Alamo. No, no, I, think I still think alcohol still... has yeah, a place. I feel like alcohol is becoming you... in movie theaters. It's becoming way more common. It's not I just it. You can... chicken fingers is totally different. Yeah. Okay. I think. Okay, I like it. I, I like it. All right. Next on the list, cookie dough bites. Honestly, okay, I freaking, I'd I freaking went starve. to town on these in like middle school. I loved them. But now they kind of gross me out. I'd yeah, I think I'd rather starve than these. To be clear, I do like cookie dough, but the cookie dough bites that you get in the box, no thank you. Yeah, yeah who I knows don't really what have you're any eating interest there. in that. To me personally, it'd be if it's free, I'll eat it because I had like nostalgic <laughs> memories associated with it, but I know they're gross. I know that yeah. in my brain. So I'm I'm fine with starving. Yeah, my yeah. mom says bleach. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Like, do they taste like bleach? What? Or is it like trying to bleach? Or, or, or does she want us to drink bleach? Is that's, there bleach in them? Mean. Is that what keeps them? She good? says bleach. But she oh, changes like it for, bleh. yeah, I think she's trying to say black. Okay, but it's, it I'm comes following. out as bleach. Bleach. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So cookie dough bites. Rather starve. Fruit. Just fruit. I mean, get the hell out of here. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can we we need another category that's just like launch into the sun. Can I? Add, I don't want fruit anywhere another, near my movie theater. Can I add another? Yeah, add a robot. Yeah, add, add one more that says "Launch me into the sun," because that's what fruit is. Like, oh no, fruit is fine. Fruit is fine, you know. But like, not in this context. Why are you not. bringing it to the movie theater? It, does your mom not believe in candy? And so imagine you, she gave you eating nature's candy. Imagine eating a banana in a movie theater. You're a psychopath. All right, the category is now. Get just, out of here I with that. I just think that like you bring a bag of fruit. And it's sitting there, <laughs> and then all of a sudden there's fruit flies everywhere in the theater, yeah. and then Aww. it's just like, <laughs> I just I I assume what it is is you're going to the movie with your family, and you're like, ah, mom, can I get some some dots, some Mike and Ikes? And she's like, we've got nature's candy. Yeah, uh, uh, I I I had a friend whose mom was like that, where she would bring like dried apricots and stuff. Have a grape. It was the worst. Yeah, uh, and it's like. 
I want the fake grape, though. Yeah, that's fair. Case says crunching an apple is on par with a pickle in a theater, and I think that's fair. Also, like, yeah, oh, for sure. I imagine eating a banana in the theater. What are you going to do with the peel? Like, it's just, it's, get it out of here. Get out of here with that. Some people are kind of crazy when it comes to trash movie theaters. Like, I usually try and throw mine away. Mm-hmm. But some people treat movie theaters like their own personal, like the floor is their dumpster, which I never right. really Right, they just understood. leave their trash there. Yeah. Never like, there's really a tra- there is a trash can literally as you're walking out. Yeah. I understand that there's it's someone's job to clean the theater, but it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's the janitor's job technically to clean things at school, but you don't just leave your trash on the floor at school. Agreed. You know, it's yeah. just be courteous, people. That's fair. Agreed. Yeah. So uh, get out of here with that's that. That's my fruit. that's my PSA today. Get out of here with that fruit. Be courteous to other people. Kind of in the same realm of fruit, though. What about? I think fruit we're gonna have snacks? disagreements here. I freaking love fruit snacks. I'll eat a whole box of fruit snacks anywhere, anytime, any any place. So what's the disagreement? I love fruit okay, snacks mob- as well. Okay, good. Movie theater, though. Would you eat it No, I, yeah, I'll eat fruit snacks anywhere. I'll eat fruit snacks on the sun. Okay. I don't care. I think, I think the question is, though, are you bringing fruit snacks to the movie theater? Or is it like, it's there, I'm going to eat it? Mm. No, I, I would bring fruit snacks anywhere. So you would if say, I so I feel like Kev would put it in good. Yeah, I would. I don't ever go to a movie theater wanting fruit snacks, so I'd probably put free, I'll eat it. It's kind of how I feel. Okay. okay, that's fair because it's a weird, it's not but normal, but also, I love fruit snacks. What fruit snacks it's are you eating? sugar. Um, I don't really discriminate, to be honest. Yeah, but like what's what's the goaded fruit snack? I mean, the goaded There's fruit an snacks answer. is the little, the sharks. The, the Oh no, it's the Scooby-Doo. That's the that's the same texture that I'm talking about. The Scooby Doo. It's the yeah, same thing. Yeah, fair. I got them in sh- yeah Scooby Doo sharks. They're also dinosaurs. Also like underrated fruit snack, and I'm not, I don't even really like this place, but Walmart brand Smileys. I've underrated. Never, underrated. I had those. Underrated. I actually think that the the Welsh's brand here is probably like one of the worst. Fruit yeah, snacks. It's terrible. It's the only picture we had, but yeah, they're terrible. Hate them. But fruit snacks in general, if it's free, I'll eat it. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on to goobers. I don't think I've ever had a goober. I don't. I don't think I'd I have either. I'd rather starve. What is a goober? I don't know. Is it like a milk uh, bud? What? What is? I'd a rather goober? starve. If I don't know what it is, I don't want to eat it. Uh, made from premium, freshly roasted peanuts, generously covered in creamy Nestle milk chocolate. Mm-mm. Nope. So it's just it. chocolate covered peanuts. Yeah, I'm good. Um, actually, if that's real, I'll eat it. Yeah. Okay. I think now I'm that I know what it is. I, 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 I like, I'm not gonna lie. I like peanuts. I like chocolate. They are good. I I don't I don't want it in the theater, but I yeah I, I can make the argument there. The, the name is not good. Anything too chocolatey, I don't want to be much like chocolatey shell, like or not a shell, just like chocolate on the outside. I don't want to eat in a theater because it's gonna get my fingies all chocolatey, and I don't like that. Hmm. But what are you I just like? Hold, are you like holding them and like letting yeah. them melt? Yeah, because you get them in the box and then you put them in your hand and then they're gonna melt a little bit, even if you're just really eat quick. one at a time. Or I guess you can eat from the box. Uh, you know what? I made my peace with it. It's fine. If somebody like if I were in a movie theater with one of you guys, you had goobers and you're like, hey, you want a goober? I'm probably gonna eat it. So that's fair. I will say, those box snacks are usually difficult because you got the box, but then you got the super crinkly wrapper inside, and it's always a struggle of. Do I just go back and like continually crinkle this wrapper or do I just like dump them out into my hand like you're saying? So I kind of get that. Like I was at Ant-Man the other day and there was a lady with apparently six boxes of candy that was just eating them the entire movie. And she was crinkling like there was no one else in the theater with her. And I I couldn't understand her. I had a lady who, when I saw Banshees of Inishirin, had a bag of chips like a big bag of chips that she'd brought and it was so Whoa. loud and she's sitting right next to me she talked the whole movie too i, I should have raised an order card and asked her to be removed alamo draft house style speaking of there was a lady that freaking answered the phone in the theater oh wow uh the other i mean she was pretty old and she was like hello i'm in a movie ant-man ant-man like, you're gonna you're gonna continue this conversation right now and then why do you why do you her, sound like audrey plaza doing her her old woman voice because i love audrey plaza that makes sense pretty cut and dry there i'm, I'm for it yeah ant-man ant-man, ant-man. 
I'm in a movie. All right, so we got the goobers on there. How do we feel about good and plenties? Get up. Get Shoot them to the sun. Get yeah, the fuck out of here. Get out of here with this. Who eats those? They're so gross. I don't think we have to say anything else. All They're right. not good, and All I right. wish they weren't plenty. All right, Haribo gummy bears. Yeah, give them to me. I'd yeah, say God tier. Yeah, give them to me. I think that's our first God tier. God I, I love gummy bears. I could eat a bucket of them. Yeah. Now, you'll get it. You won't feel good later because they'll mess. It. Now, have you seen the the Amazon reviews of the fat free ones that gave everybody explosive diarrhea? No. All time, all time review page. Oh, yeah. that's gross. <laughs> K Everyone, says, it's like it's the funniest review page in the history of the internet. K says good and plenty, more like bad and too many. I couldn't agree more. Got him. Roasted him. All right, how about trolley gummy worms? I love these things. Me too. Ew. I'm gonna put too. them in God. The, I, 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 the sourness and the I, I love them. They're they're the perfect mix I of sweet them. and sour. Yeah, give like, them to me. I love like, them. Like we'll yeah. get to it. There's another one on here that are just way too sour. I have specific. This is, this is. I have like memories of these being advertised too, like on Saturday morning cartoons, and I I just wanted them all the time as like a ten year old. Yeah. Could have lived on them. Yeah. Um. Okay, this could be interesting. Hot this dogs. Nice Gross. I'm gonna put. I would say remember the Alamo on this one. They got a good hot dog when it's on the menu. Uh, Okay, here's my. I don't. The older I get, the more more disgusted I am by hot dogs not everywhere. Me. Not me, dude. I love hot dogs. Like, I'm if you're that, over man. the age of thirty and you have the option between hot dog and brat, and you choose hot dog, I don't know well, what's that's wrong. That's fair. With I'll give you that. I mean, brat's always going to so be. So, like at this point, dog. I'm just never. Eat, I'm just never eating a hot dog. But like a good gourmet hot dog. Have you had like a like? I'm not talking about just like one. The you best get... gourmet hot dog is still a hot dog. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Like, it's still made up of the weirdest mishmash of stuff. Like, when I think about that, I don't want any part of a hot dog. I'm pretty sure I'm in the I'd rather starve. I think I am, too. Dog. I think I am, too. Okay. I mean, Especially I would say a movie Alamo, theater hot dog. You guys are... Like, if you are grilling a hot dog yourself, that's about the only situation I would ever, even, ever eat one now. It's like, I have total control of... How done it is! I'm 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 making it myself. I can have all the toppings I want. the The bun can be good, but it, I think something about a movie theater hot dog I, it freaks me out. I don't think there's one thing more in the last like five years because I've I have I've had a handful that I've eaten and felt more disgusted with myself after I've eaten it yeah. than a hot dog. That's too bad. I'm sorry. Something guys. about I just feel like I've grown up too much to eat a hot dog, which is crazy because I'm not grown up at all. Yeah, we're children. <laughs> Uh, okay, no. well, we'll put it in the... I uh, might eat a hot dog at a baseball game, but then even then, it's like... Even then, you, like, open it. It's in this tin foil. Yeah, it's, you open it up. So it's so much. So it's, it's like The bun is the so... Tips. It looks like someone took the bun and, like, squeezed it around. Oh, the tips no. aren't fully cooked some, for some reason. The it's hot like, dog's way longer than the bun for some reason. I'm well. always... So, like, the I'm, first two bites are just hot dog. I'm always going to be pro hot dog. You can't. You can't. I, I love a good hot dog, but the votes don't lie. Or put it in, I'd rather starve. All right. Hot tamales. I know how I feel about this one, and it's not a popular opinion. I absolutely love hot tamales. I would put them in God tier because I love having hot tamales in the theater. But I would, they're divisive. I would say free, I'll eat it. Like, I'm not seeking hot tamales out, but if there's like a bowl of hot tamales, I'll, I'll eat some. Mop, where are you at on this? I don't know if it's free if I'd eat it, but I also don't feel like I'd rather starve, if that makes sense. Okay. You free, know? I'll eat it. I think that's I, fair. I yeah. I, I don't feel strongly enough that I'd rather starve than eat a hot tamale. I also feel like I got a lot of hot tamales in like sixth grade math class for like doing um, problems right on the board. Good you job, know? Kev. Or I think of Kevin in the office when they get hot tamales at the front desk, and Pam's like, "Be careful, Kev. They're hot." And then he eats them, and he's like, "These are so spicy." <laughs> Um, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll put it in if it's free, I'll eat it. And then moving on to ice cream bars. I, I say get ins- out of here with that. I think you're insane if you're eating ice cream. Why are yeah, you either. eating that at the theater? Exactly. Get it out of here. I love I ice cream. I love bar, ice cream. But you can't eat it in the theater. Uh, but, like, so the thing is, is like if you get there, like 
any time before, you're not just going to sit on your ice cream bar. You got to eat it. So by the gotta time you're it done now. with it, the movie may not have started. It's or for sure not done with it within the first five minutes of the movie. So yeah. you're not taking more than like three minutes to eat that thing. Yeah. And it's the same with the dibs. Yeah, dibs. I was going to say that that's next on the list. Same, I'm going to go ahead and put deal. that in there as well. Any ice will... cream. Just don't eat ice cream. But if you're at home and you're watching a movie, have a bowl of ice cream. Eat an ice cream bar. But it's oh, not for the theater. Cool. Yeah. Um, I will say it. At Alamo, they make amazing milkshakes, so it's kind of a different thing. It's very different. Very but different. I think that, yeah. That, that's one of the better milkshakes I've actually ever had. Yeah. Was what do you? Where are we, though, moving on? Where are we on uh, Icy's or Slushies? If you asked me in 2004, I would have said God tier. Mm-hmm. We moved on a little bit from then. Yeah. I still think they have a, they're a, a movie staple, yep. despite the fact I would basically not have one anymore. Right. So I think I would go good. I would say the same. That's exactly my thought process on this. I would never order an icy or a slushy anymore because I, honestly, I feel like they're more sugary than soda and it's like mm-hmm. too oh, much. Yeah. But, but you absolutely. have to you have to have that machine at the movie theater. Right. You can't at, not have it. Yeah, it's got to be there. got to have it there. Um, Man, and when you would mix cherry with the Coke flavor. Oh. I was 100% Coke flavor all the time. Yeah. Oh, really? The chat like is saying I like God the tier. top, like the top, third to be cherry yeah mix that in how do we feel about junior mints we kind of had a conversation on this a few weeks ago um mob where mob are you on them. junior mints i'm pretty sure i love them you love junior mints yeah i'm a, i'm the mint chocolate guy wait who was saying they don't like the the mints me oh that's right okay so it's yeah, kind of like the like... york peppermint patty like and junior mints are form. basically yeah. the same yeah i um, honestly free i'll eat it i don't really care for them but i don't i'm fine with that I'm going to be outnumbered here. I want no part of them. Okay. I, I would never eat a junior mint in really any situation. Okay. I think that's, I think that's honorable. But yeah. I, yeah. What about sweet tarts? I used to love sweet tarts, but, and then I, and then I grew up, you know? <laughs> yeah. They're very, very sugary and that's tough. I'm still eating them if they're free. All right. Yeah. I think I might too, just yeah. out of curiosity. Yeah, they're free. Pretty sure my dad still eats sweet tarts on the regular. That makes sense. <laughs> so this is a tech, the picture we have is sweet tart ropes, but we'll just say sweet tarts. I think ropes might. What the hell be are better, sweet tart honestly. ropes? I think it's just it's the same as anything. String, maybe? I don't know. It's that. No, it's the gummy middle, and they just crush oh, up right. the sweet tarts. It's just like a nerd's rope. So I may be out on that. I think. Yeah. What I think that's what it is. Tarts. What about what about nerds? I love nerds. I think nerds are great. I, I actually too. like nerd. Okay, roast. I think I good. I think nerds are. I would never eat nerds plain. They have to be attached to the rope, or they have to be like on a snow cone for me. I'm gonna put them in is, good. Nerds oh, and nerds rope. I'm gonna put on good. Nerds rope. I would say good. I would push back on nerds being in good. Mob, what are you thinking? I again in the realm of like movie theaters. I'm that's not my go to candy. I love them. So it's probably free if I I'll eat it if it's free. Okay. See, that's where I'm at with nerds, I think. What about nerds rope though? Nerds rope I'm on I'm fully on board with good. Okay. I think, I think that's a good compromise. Cuz yeah, I don't think so, I'd want to have a box of nerds in a movie theater cuz it make a lot of noise. Yeah, the mm-hmm. noise is a big factor as well cuz it every time you need something you're just yeah. shaking it around. Yeah. Um lemon heads. Gross. I'd rather Gross. starve. I don't want them. I'd rather start. I love lemon heads. What? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> what? What do you I like do. about them? I'm I'm interested. They're, I one. I love the lemon flavor, like mm-hmm. the fake lemon flavor, not an actual lemon. Um, the sourness of them, I, they're great. Yeah, I'd like to okay, see you well, lick a lemon. There, I is. would. Uh, why, why wouldn't I lick a lemon? I put it in. I'd rather starve because I think I would gross. too. I hate them. If it's free, I'm not eating it. If it's free, yeah. I'm, I'm going to town on them. If there's Kalex lemon heads too. Hmm. How do we feel? I, how do we feel about just know. regular lifesavers? I don't think they have any place in a movie theater, and the here. fact that they're sold there, I think it's insane. Get out of here! <laughs> like the, are these regular lifesavers or mm-hmm. lifesaver mints? No, just I think they have to. Yeah, be the mints. Mint. Oh, what what are you doing? Like I love them. But like, what are you but doing it's for in a movie af- theater? It's, it's for you're after not dinner. snacking on them. It's for yeah. 
you just they're yeah, randomly I'm not in like sitting a in a movie theater and, and like and and here's the office. here's the other thing if you're bringing a packaged packaged candy into a movie yeah, theater that's nuts. so like the candy is in a separate package within the package now you're don't making think, all too much noise i don't think those are out. i don't think those are that specific bag i think you just have them loose then that's weird too I also think need to be specially packaged within the package. If you're eating more than one max two mint lifesavers at a time, I don't know what your problem is. Yeah, you got well, to have need problems. to see a doctor. You're eating more than two lifesavers at a time? Bro, I love mint. What do we have to like what oh, what are we man. talking about here? Yeah. We've we've been over this. Mint flavored stuff is wonderful. All right. Also, I, I don't hate green ones I don't hate them. Are worse than the peppermint ones. Give me the blue ones. Okay. See, to me, I don't, I don't dislike lifesavers, but it, this, the situation is so wrong. Well, yeah, in this situation, it doesn't make any sense. But well, like, zero. If 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 I'm walking out of a restaurant and they've got a bowl of them, I'm grabbing. Oh a handful. yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, that, that's the right situation. Yeah, like and I'm probably them eating them all on the way home. Oh, so okay. like, that's weird. I mean, even better would that's be much. Andy's mint chocolate after dinner, but that's a whole. That's fine. Not to but deviate. See, you're never eating more than like two of those. Not to deviate too much from this, but Uncut Brody's in the chat. He says, okay. I seen the advert for Concane Bear. Are you kidding me? This is clearly the next 1.0 IMDb rating laughing stock. Why are people even considering watching this garbage? Get off my screen. I can't believe Uncut Brody's anti cocaine bear. I love cocaine bear. Uncut Brody, you should see cocaine bear. You'll probably have a good time. It hey, feels like Kevin, he would like it. You need to clip off Kenny saying, I love. And then cocaine. Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. for sure. And just put cocaine. that out there. I love cocaine. cocaine. Look, cocaine. you don't even and have then, to clip it. I love cocaine. And then, and then Maybe just I'll just cut put off together a quick, yeah, cut up of everyone saying cocaine. Um, cocaine. say cocaine on three. One, two, three. Cocaine. 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 All cocaine. right. Uh, Uncut Brody, we're glad you're here. Um, be sure to check out our review for Cocaine Bear on CorkBats.com. Um, okay, let's do, let's clump a few together here. Uh, pretzels and pretzel bites. I would say, remember the Alamo. Only good at Alamo Draft House. They have great pretzels. I'd agree with that. I'm not getting a normal pretzel or a pretzel at a normal theater because I know it's like going to be partially cooked and halfway Weird. frozen. Weird and yeah, soggy. isn't a is an adult i'm not eating a pretzel but as a kid i would have okay what's that them. third pretzel you got there because it looks like a massive weirdly it looks bad turd let's just go ahead and i don't know what it is i'm just yeah, gonna put it and get out of here watch that, that one just looks sun. gross yeah uh i think these are like part of the grossness of the pretzels was the cheese or the sauce that came with it I was yeah. like, and then there's a few here that look like they what could be pretzel bites one? but they might be parmesan bites or something I think that's chicken or meat or Maybe. something. Again, there. this is an Alamo kind of Alamo. thing. They'll do it Alamo well, for sure. but anywhere it else it's going to be gross. Yeah. yeah. And Alamo I think for sure. Maybe this is popcorn chicken again. Alamo. Yeah. yeah. Any like meal type food that Anything you could get you at have like to a bake? restaurant. Yeah. 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 Huh. All right. How do we feel about Mike and Ike's? Love them. Love them. I... I've never really loved Mike. I mean, I think they're fine. Actually, but I'd put yeah, them in good. I'm probably going to say if it's free, I'll eat it. Mike and Ike's are never really a go-to for me. But they are, I feel like if I am going to eat them anywhere, it's going to be in a movie theater. Yeah, I would never get them myself. If somebody had some and offered them to me, I'd be like, sure, I'll eat some Mike and Ike's. Yeah. But I'm I'm never going to. I'm pro them. Mike and Ike. They're good. All right. Well, oh, we'll yeah. say if I it's free, even... we'll eat it. Okay. Milk duds. Yes, God tier. Uh, not for me. I love oh. milk duds. Ugh. My wrong. parents loved milk Ugh. duds, and I didn't understand that. I don't even know if I'd Do you say like free, Whoppers too. It. No, I don't. I like don't. Whoppers. whoppers make me feel weird. I feel I, like milk I, duds and Whoppers are in the same. I know they're very I, different. They're different. Like, I'm not they're saying different. they're the same thing. I think I would rather just not just eat milk, milk duds or Whoppers. Dude, I love milk duds. You guys are crazy. What is what's in a milk dud? What's it's just like caramel covered chocolate, which kind of goes back to my chocolate thing, and I, it sounds like now I'm uh, kind of uh, being inconsistent. Here. But I love milk duds. I mean, okay, yeah. given the choice between, it sounds like we're grouping them together. Given the choice between a milk dud and a whopper, give me a milk dud every time. Mm -hmm. Correct, but like to me, they're in the same. I don't know. Okay, I, well I've let's say always, let's say whoppers. I don't like I'll, whoppers, I'll say let's get out of here with that. Yeah, and then milk duds. Um, free, I'll eat it. Yeah, that's how I think I would 
I think if there is some milk duds someone offered me, I would eat a couple. Okay. I think I, think. I feel about milk duds the same way I kind of feel like about hot tamales in the sense that like if it's free, I'm probably not going to eat it. But it's not like if I'm – it's like you're going to starve if you don't eat this. I'm not going to not eat it, you know? Yeah. One of those things. Okay. I, I don't understand who wants – I just don't understand the people that eat Whoppers. I want them to explain. Whoppers are gross. Like malt flavoring is bad. It's not yes. good. Yes. Objectively not good. Like if you can go get a chocolate milkshake or a chocolate malt shake, then why are you – what? What, and what I is malt? Up, I grew up drinking malts because that's like what my parents love. They're like malt is so much better than milkshake. And then I finally started drinking milkshakes. And I was like these are far They're better. They're so much can better. Can someone explain to me what malt is? It's like no. a grain, isn't it? It's it, just – it's not sweet. It's not – but what is it like where does it come from who produces right. malt it's, is it cows is it is, is you it farm it is it a rock like it's a I, germinated I it's cereal like a grain that's been dried in a process known as malting so it's a grain it's a grain why are you putting that grain in my sweet yeah, milkshake get out of here with that no it seems like one I, of those like depression era like uh, we got to use everything <laughs> and then just, yeah it just stuck. absolutely yeah it's it's described as sweet and nutty but i don't even think it's sweet yeah Get the hell I, out of here, malt. I, my dad's not going to like that because he loves malt, but I I never liked it. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. All right. Well, guys, how do we feel about M&Ms? Depends on the M&M. I think all M&Ms are in the same category of awesome for me. But Ooh, I, I disagree there. I think peanut, M&M, peanut M&Ms are God tier for me. God tier. I love yep. a peanut m M&M. and I think oh, regular I M&Ms would be God tier for me. I love regular M&Ms. I'm not in God tier for peanut M&Ms. Okay, Ugh. God tier for regular and peanut what about a uh, regular and peanut and then peanut butter maybe good or free oh, I'll eat it. i'd rather have peanut butter than peanut m and okay so I, I, I take back peanut, what i said i think yeah, they're all god they're all god tier i think they're all god no God-tier. you're crazy no peanut no M&Ms are incredible the, the peanut like gets stuck in your throat and it's like this nah. unsalted what are you, what are you not about? Yeah. flavor yeah you might have a peanut, peanut. allergy Learn how to chew. Bro. I eat peanut butter off the freaking spoon. I don't have a mm, peanut butter allergy. That is a good snack. In oh. fact, that's a god tier movie. Yeah, snack. put bean. Yeah, just a jar of peanut butter should be on. Yeah, there. honestly. Yeah. Next time I go to a movie, I'm putting them all in god tier. Sorry, I agree with that. Sorry, I, I'm I not love, sorry. Yeah, if we're gonna put Coda in god, god tier, they're all going. All the M and M's are going in god tier. And if we I had, don't want Coda in god tier, well, it's not god late. tier. Too if we late. Pretzel M and M's. I put them in god tier also. What happened? What happened to the last? Yeah, pretzel M Ms are awesome. What happened to the last time when we said if someone doesn't think it's god tier, it's not going god tier? Oh Whatever. Gosh, why do you gotta do that? Okay, the problem Fine. is, no, that no, no, that's not what. It, like, oh goodness gracious. Well, hmm. that was if we had three and four. Three out of four. Well, no, no it's think, fine. It's I, no, fine if it's well, if the, no, 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 if the rules right. suit you guys. If the Mom's rules right, suit actually. you guys, no, we leave it settled. in God tier. It's fine. Fine. I don't okay. care. All right. Look, I just want to be everybody. consistent All right, fine. across the board. I, fine. All right. So M and M's going. Peanut goes in good, which is an insane thing to. It's do insane. The best I will say though. No, of all, leave it in God of tier. Those three, no, no, no. Mob's right. Mob's right. Mob's right. right. We gotta make Mob happy. I forgot about that rule. If if there is one M and M, if we had to choose one M and M to go in good, though, I would probably put Peanut in there. Even though, to be clear, I think it's God tier. The best one. This is. It is kind of weird because we only have three. I almost think we should say three of four need to need to be the majority, but it's whatever. I think we're actually look. We're, we're not, not be. The I, internet's not going to hold us accountable for this. All right. I think we just need to keep changing the rules so that the debate rages on every time we do one of these. Yeah. Almost. Okay. Mozzarella sticks. This is remember the Alamo for me because they have some yeah. bomb ass yeah. mozzarella sticks. Again, that's one of those that like it's baked. to me. And it, mozzarella sticks never hit harder than when you were you swam in the pool for like two hours and then you just went to the concession stand and grabbed some incredibly poorly made mozzarella sticks because the worst mozzarella stick is still a good mozzarella stick in my opinion. Yeah, you're frying cheese. What could be bad about that? Yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. And then, is that a nachos. Nacho? <sighs> okay. I don't even think I want them at the Alamo, to be honest. They're good at the Alamo, I'll tell you that. But they're There's... not like the ones with the plastic cheese. No, they're much different, like. much better. They're not loaded nachos like restaurant quality, which if we're going by the picture, you're not getting 
You're getting crappy chips. You're getting crappy dipping sauces. Okay, but we're not going by the picture here. We're just going by the concept of nachos in a movie theater. So, but when I think of nachos at a movie theater, I think of the the plastic little tray with the with the plastic cheese. Right. But if there's an option where Alamo makes it better, I feel like it goes remember the Alamo. I would put it remember the Alamo for sure. Yeah, that's wrong. Because you're gonna it. you're gonna get a good chicken nacho at the at the Alamo Draft House. Um, just, and just so we're all on the same page, Tom is totally against peanut M&Ms too. So if he were here, Ugh. that would have been a fight. So that would have been a fight, but he's not here. Right. Well, In fact, he went even further than I did. He said, I'd be fine if they were discontinued, just make peanut butter M&Ms and we'll all be better for it. Ugh. Is Tom watching right now? Where is he? No, I texted him. Oh, okay. okay. Well, hi Tom. Um, let's see here. Pizza. Okay. <laughs> Again, Alamo's pizza, very good. Okay. I've been to a movie where a friend snuck in a full pizza. That was ridiculous. Awesome. <laughs> it, it was kind of awesome. No, but he brought it in like a plastic <laughs> bag like a psychopath. How else are you going to sneak it in, though? Just walk in like, like you're going to joint. put the box under your shirt. I don't know. The, the way he did that pizza was like three days old also. Like it wasn't fresh. He brought it from home. I put Just like junkyard dog <laughs> attitude there that I didn't approve of. Yeah. I fully approved. Of like it. I approved that he did it because it was hilarious. And he just like pulled out a bag of pizza and I was like, Whoa. Yeah. And him and his, I think him and his wife just like ate it as their dinner right there, which was hilarious. It was, but, well, what's funny about it is it was he and his fiance, they were getting yeah, married yeah. in a week and we were watching gone girl. Yeah. And he was kind of, yeah. They like <laughs> fought about it on the way home, which was really funny. I love that. Um, 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 I think pizza in a theater is kind of a crazy move unless you're going to do what he did and just like, think, have the balls to just bring it in. I think my view of pizza in a theater is totally blinded by that situation because <laughs> I thought it was so funny and awesome. Well, here's what I'll say. Alamo Draft House has he did that. excellent pizzas. So I'm putting it in Alamo. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's fine. I just think if, you, if you're going to bring a pizza in a plastic bag into a theater, I have the utmost respect for Yeah, you. I don't think that's anything less than a power move. Okay, here's what I don't remember. <laughs> was it cold? No, it, so it was- Did they it heat was, it up and then bring it? No, it was from, it was from uh, like an event they had been at and they had extra pizza afterwards. So it was free. And he went from that event to the movie theater. So that's- he put a, it like, all in a plastic bag. So it was definitely just So it was, it was- it was lukewarm. Oh, I don't know who we're worse. talking about, but I know exactly I who we're talking hot, about. No in between. Like, no, I don't know, know who. I wasn't there for this. I don't know exactly who, but I know exactly who this I'll was. Give, I would give you one guess and be surprised. Yeah, I, I guarantee right. I'd get it. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's start with, we got some popcorn. So let's start with just regular buttered popcorn. I mean, I that's God if, tier. If, if, God okay. Tier. I, w- I was about to throw down. No, I love popcorn. At a movie it's tier. the best. I, it's the I don't actually eat it that often, but you, it's But like. Even if so, if we were doing a tier of popcorn, movie theater popcorn is mm-hmm. the best. By far, yes. all of them. Absolutely. I I knew uh, I knew a guy in college that would go to Forum, get popcorn, and then come home, and it would like be his snack. That's great. Like instead of just popping it in the microwave, he would just get movie theater popcorn and bring it home. That's great. Yeah. For that, um, where are we though? Guy, on, an awesome idea. Where are we on flavored popcorn? I'm not. I'm out. It. I'm Hate not it. On flavored popcorn. I say yeah. I wouldn't even. So Alamo has flavored popcorn. I would still say get out of here with that. I don't. I don't like flavored. I popcorn. I feel like that's one of those I, 2008 ideas that we just did it because we had too much. I like. I don't. I don't want any. I like. I like a cheese popcorn. But if I'm at the movie theater and not getting movie theater popcorn, get out. Yeah. Like. No. I, and like. I hate caramel corn. I hate kettle yes. corn. I'm okay with cheese popcorn, but at the movie theater, if you're getting popcorn and it is not butter flavored, yep, you are not my people. Well, like, and white cheddar popcorn is awesome, but it's because you get it from like Cape Cod in a bag at a grocery store, and it's like a I different. Hate, I'm gonna go on record and say I hate the popcorn that comes in bags from the grocery store. I think it's disgusting. There's some good. I, I think there's I, I some like, good stuff. I like a good smart pop every now. Smart and pop day. is good. No. Mm. Mm-mm. All right, and then the final category, popcorn with candy in it. Ugh. Get out of here. Get what out of here with that. Again, why do we need to sweet popcorn? Yeah, we don't. That's nasty I, shit. So That's what that is. All right. 
All right, the popcorns are done. Let's move on to raisinets, which are chocolate launch covered raisins. The sun with this one. Yeah, I launch them. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Raisins have no place in society. Here with that. Raisins, really? raisins are the reason I have trust issues. Yeah. yeah, you you put a raisin in something that should have chocolate. It's like, I oh, mean, there's a really awesome chocolate chip cookie, a god tier type cookie. You bite into it, it's a raisin, and my day is ruined. Yeah, that's sad. I hate raisins. I hate um, so much. What about red vines? They're not as good as Twizzlers. Yep, that's what I was going to say. Because so I'd put I Twizzlers God tier. I think if it's free, okay, if there's a like a big jar of red vines, I'm going to eat a couple. That's okay. just how it is. Sure. I think I'm with you on that. I'm, but I'm I, a huge fan of both Twizzlers or God tier. Yeah. I think Twizzlers I would are call God-tier red vines well. good, but I understand why it's free. If I would eat it. They just taste so waxy and not mm-hmm. nearly as good that I don't, I don't. I don't know. They just leave me wanting more. So I'm yeah, not gonna I'm good with out. the Twizzler bites up there too. Yeah. All Twizzlers are, are yeah. Yeah, Twizzler okay, bites are just cherry Twizzlers. or strawberry Twizzlers. Uh cherry. I love the pull and peel. Love them. Love them. What's the typical what's the it's regular typically Twizzler? cherry? Strawberry is I no strawberry is like the strawberry. regular ones that you cherry is the pull and peel. Yeah. And then yeah. cherry oh, bites okay. are really good too. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm, I think I'm, I'm good with strawberry. I love them. And I'm normally a cherry boy. All right. Nothing will make your teeth hurt like the pull and peel strawberry twizzlers because you're just chomping on it's kind of like a dot almost but they're so good yeah um reese's minis i love all reese's things yep so god tier for me but i think reese's is a god tier candy however oh god not at the movie theater what i'm kind of i'm kind of with mob here reese's minis like the ones that aren't don't have like the little no, like paper on it. You just pop yeah. them so, in your mouth. Okay, here's the thing. I don't like Reese's Minis because the peanut butter to chocolate ratio there's isn't too much, enough. There's too much, chocolate. too much chocolate. Yeah, I agree. So not good peanut butter. Yeah, I'm that's fine what makes good. That's what makes a Reese's cup so good is there's it's so much peanut butter. But that that's what and that's what makes like Reese's eggs and trees and pumpkins the, <sighs> the best. And it's a different consistency of peanut butter. Oh, pound for pound, Reese's eggs might be the best candy out there okay. what about reese's egg. pieces egg me baby <laughs> um anytime i think of reese's pieces i think of et and then when i think of et i think of that tweet that says uh me and my friends would have killed et with hammers i can tell you that much for sure <laughs> <laughs> so for that reason alone give me god god dear, dear. i think that's, I, a, good I'm re- fine that's with that. a good reasoning <laughs> what about what about skittles god dear yeah um Okay, oh, oh, mm, I go. think Reese Skittles are just good. Oh my God, you're an idiot. But sour Skittles, I think, are god tier. I nope, were both nope. god tier. No, nope. sour oh. Skittles are too sour. Oh gosh, what? how do we decide no. this? Okay, I will. I will allow Skittles to go in god tier, but I still think. I think. I think. I think, I think sour Skittles. I think are they're just both amazing. Good. Like, I don't. I think sour Skittles are too sour. <laughs> Well, I think they're both got. But you're the guy that likes lemons. Uh, What is this? You're wrong. You're wrong. They're you're both wrong. It's a different sour. Like both have wrong takes. There's too much sour on the sour Skittles. Like that's why trolleys are perfect. I take back my what I said about Skittles. Then put them in good. Oh gosh. Okay, fine. They're going in good, and we're not. uh, That's it. How dare you guys? You ruined a good thing. Skittles are god dear. You're you're messed up. No, you're crazy. No, sour Skittles are so much better than regular that's skittles just not true i don't think that's true either but whatever skittles are amazing. good for i like i like 10 skittles and then you get to like the 12th or 15th skittle and you're like all right bad enough See, that, that's sour skittles Kay God. says i helped bully skittles into bringing the lime skittle back really that's an interesting i, I would want to know more but also don't uh, like the no, lime I... skittle skittle don't like it i like the apple I... skittle uh, it was better than what did they replace it with? Um, Apple, okay. Apple, Apple. Yeah, see, that's a terrible idea. Uh, you're so, oh my God. I liked them both. They all kind of taste Apple's the same. Apple's so much better honest. than lime. I mean, what's the best Skittle? It's clearly the red one. It's the red one. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I thought we were about to have to throw down. No, we don't need to. We don't no. need to have fights over things that aren't true. You know what I'm saying? I mean, pink is the most overrated Starburst, but 
Ooh, wow. <laughs> that you're you're you no. Know. Okay. No, I, you guys Reddit, live in the hive mind no, 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 that no, no, no. everyone's decided no, 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 pink no. is the best. And no, no, Reddit. red is the red is the best Starburst. Since we're on it, let's talk. Where would we put Starburst in general? I'd say God tier. God tier for me. Yeah. I think it's a God tier candy, but again, you're unwrapping wrapped that is true that's a good point it's true it is that, not a god tier that's movie. an argument that makes sense right. so i'd put it in i think good. that's perfectly acceptable like i love starburst but in the movie theater you are kind of insane for having to unwrap like 15 individual things like okay so if you come with a if you come with a ba- a bag of starburst unwrapped, unwrapped then you're doing it right yeah but that's who has insane time but behavior that's not, though but that's not what this is who has the time you know nobody also, has time for that at some point, they started selling bags of just pink and red, and it's so good. Yeah. Also, Starburst jelly beans are better than Starburst. Ooh. You're no, you're wrong. You're not. You're, you're not absolutely wrong. You're not right, but I don't I am right. think the take is crazy. The all reds, the all red Starburst jelly beans, where you get the strawberry, the cherry, and the watermelon. See, half of the Starburst is I like the texture and the chewiness of the Starburst, and I don't get that with the jelly bean. There's only one acceptable brand of jelly bean, and it's Jelly Belly. Every other brand of jelly bean is no, trying to that's, that's a crazy that is, thing that you just said. That is the best jelly bean by far is the it's Starburst, Starburst jelly, jelly bean. You guys are idiots. No way. I can't no. believe so much what I mean. I can't believe what you just said. Say you that again. You probably like so the freaking popcorn again. jelly belly, don't you? No, I don't. I don't like the oh, weird uh-huh. ones, but I like the regular. Yeah, Regular but you have flavored to get jelly the beans weird the ones best. to get the jelly bellies. Like, oh. they all come in one package, and it's like, here, eat earwax. Just to be clear. You guys are so ignorant. Kelly, Kelly. Oh. Penny said that Starburst jelly beans aren't the best jelly beans. Yes. I can't believe my ears. And then said, Jelly Bellies is the only acceptable that. brand of jelly beans. No. Nobody is eating regular jelly beans anymore they're not regular that they're jelly bellies for and God the tier. 90s and 2000s my mom wants to know why aren't jelly bellies on this list i don't know they should be because they're so because good they're not because no one even eats them anymore half the flavors of jelly bellies are good if you're getting if you're getting jelly beans in your easter egg and they're not starburst jelly beans you're stuck in the past if you're I'm getting sorry. starburst we've jelly moved beans on. In we've your moved easter on from egg. regular jelly beans i'm not gonna say it don't don't yeah don't, because it's wrong so i mean that. you could say it and it will have no effect on me the right take is starburst jelly beans are the best jelly beans and should be the only jelly beans oh, you're so, no i so couldn't be it's okay you have a peasant's view of mob. jelly beans it's fine okay. you kenny's just uh stuck in the past no I'm right not. Jelly we've moved farther. past the need for regular jelly beans all right moving on <laughs> harvest snaps Get out of here with that. I mean, what? <laughs> what what even doing? is a harvest? Harvest snap. snap. So harvest snap are essentially the the freeze dried uh, bean or peas that are Gross. like flavored. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is a hot take. I Green do like them, but I only Granted. buy them when I'm trying to watch what I eat, and I don't want to buy potato chips. Right. I haven't. I, I understand. I'm I would sure they're try fine. one. They're fine. They're they're good. Um, but they're kind of. They like, don't belong in a movie theater. Get out of like here with that. Veggie straws. Like I'll eat a veggie. No, straw, they're they're, they're more they're, they're more healthy than veggie straws because veggie straws are essentially potato chips with like potatoes, yeah, dusts chips. of spinach and tomato. Right. Where yeah. these are actual veggies that have been freeze dried and then flavored okay. with like okay. pepper and salt and stuff like that. They're good. I I do uh, recommend I anything, them. I don't want anything healthy coming coming in a movie. I may buy a bag just to try them this week. Yeah, I'm a little intrigued. Get the. But uh, I'm black not getting them at ones. the movie theater. Black pepper ones are the best. Um, okay. Snow cabs. These are hard for me because, again, it's a candy my family. It's like we it's went like to the movies and my, my dad bought Whoppers and my mom bought Snowcaps. And then we got popcorn and it was like, this is what you eat at the movies. And there then is, I grew up and right. I, ex- but I, it's, I found if it's out free, I'm eating candy. it. There is, there's they no, don't taste good, though. There's no ex- other acceptable place to eat Snowcaps <laughs> in a movie theater. That's agreed. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, you're on a train or just I like can. walking down the sidewalk and someone's just eating snow caps. I would assume I that that person is probably a serial killer. Well, okay, don't call my father a serial or, killer. Uh, or just over the age of 50. Well, have I we think. proven that he's not one? Yeah. Have we proven that you're not one? No. I mean, that's a great point. How do you prove that someone's not a serial killer? I can't prove they are. Negative. They are, like, not as good as ICs to me, but to me they are, like, so... I think They're if it's free, I'm eating it. That's where I would put it is free. I'm eating it. Yeah. yeah. 
even though I don't like them and I wouldn't eat them. All right. So the next category (laughs) is two things, but they're they're the same thing, but they're also different. Bottled soda. Yeah, very different here. I think good. Good. Give me a nice crisp Coke or Sprite in a movie theater, and I'm happy with it. Okay. Out of a bottle. Bottle. Fountain soda. God. 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 Yeah. This is yeah. this is so when we were talking about alcohol, yeah. this is the one that I was thinking of. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I want mm-hmm. a fountain Coke or Coke Zero, preferably every time I go to a movie. A huge problem with my home movie theater is that it's Pepsi. And not, it's just not the same. Not the same. So like if if we had Pepsi versus Coke on this list, Pepsi would be get out of here with this. Okay. That's fair. Pepsi doesn't have the, the. But also, if need. if they only have Pepsi and like I want something to drink, I'm probably getting it. The problem with if you're getting if you're getting popcorn at the movie theater, you kind of have to have mm-hmm. soda, regardless of what it is. Yeah, my number that one is, is the, that is a that is the Coke. number one theater combo is salty buttery popcorn and mm-hmm. Coke. I mm-hmm. think if there's Pepsi products at the theater, I think I probably am getting Dr Pepper. If there are mm, Pepsi products, l- let me just be very clear. If there are Pepsi products at your theater, your theater is going to go bankrupt soon. Right. Well, it already went bankrupt. <laughs> it filed for bankruptcy yeah. like a couple of years I, ago, and it's as, still standing somehow. I don't really understand it. As a former St. Louis Rams fan, I've seen how oh, the progression of man. drink at the venue correlates with your yeah. team. The and minute their we get RC Cola in it goes my theater, from it's Coke over. to Pepsi. And then once they bring in RC Cola, they're moving, and you know it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sour Patch Shout Kids. Shout out Edward Jones. I mean, if we don't put Sour Patch Kids in God tier, I'm going to freak out. I agree. That's I'm going to freak out. All Here's right. the thing. Oh, my God. No. I knew it. I knew I knew. Mob no, wasn't God-tier. just going to let it they're the leave right, it alone. They're the right type of sour. Sour Skittles are too freaking sour. Oh, so you're This just- is a good sour. Okay, so you're you're with us in Sour Patch yeah. Kids. Right. God why do you why do you have to phrase it like that? Yeah, why because I why wanted you, you both like... to freak out, and I did, <laughs> and I was, I'm sorry. Um, what about watermelon Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, some people love them. I love them. I think they're I think they're good. Not I put great. good. Yeah, there's, I, I don't love watermelon below, flavored stuff. They're a step below regular Sour Patch Kids, in my but opinion. Sour Patch Kids are so good that I I like them. Yeah, yeah. Kay says Sour Patch God tier. Agreed. And then we got something. So on a lot of people would have that opinion, and I would be fine with it. I just don't love watermelon flavored things. We got something on here. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, oh. I, I've been trying to figure that out as well. Are, are these those like build your burger, build your hot dog candies? Oh, they could be. Is that what that is? Uh, uh, no, they're sour punch straws. They're sour punch no, straws. No, no, that's no, next. that's that's next. No, this says, oh, sour power straws. No, yeah. They're, uh, they're, I'm just gonna say they look uh, off-brand sour punch. So. Get out of here with that. Yeah, get out of here with that. If we don't know well, what it I is, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I like sour. They're sour punch straws. No, but this is this is the off-brand brand. Sour punch straws is a different thing. They're get out of here with the these. Same probably, right? Okay, so red vines and Twizzlers taste the same. Uh, they don't. Point. They really don't. Shit. Um. All right, sour punch straws. I like them. Love them. I like sour stuff. So back in the day, I think day, they're good. For, Back for in me. the day, in my neighborhood for Halloween, the ones. there was a house that gave out full packages of Sour Punch straws, and it, they were the best house by far. Yeah. What we used to do, so we used to have, when I was when I was growing up, like elementary school, Fridays was pizza day, and you could go to the little snack bar, you can get two slices of pizza, and then we would get Sour Punch straws and then a soda, and then you would drink the soda with the Sour Punch straw. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah why there's life is so cruel you didn't know how good life was just like grade when you were drinking soda out of sour punch straw and having or or you took a twizzler Friday. and bit oh off gosh. each end and used that as a straw yeah yeah uh so i'd put it in god tier sour punch straws um i'm fine with that i think i i think i would too actually which is kind of crazy I, I think a lot of people wouldn't do that but i like them enough that i i, I would do it okay all right, only three left. Swedish fish. Swedish fish. Swedish fish. I would just say if it's free, I'll eat it. I don't really have an opinion oh on Oh, my this. God. This is God tier for me. If it's free, I'll eat it? Are you nuts? I was waiting for someone to say something stupid like that before I talk. <laughs> <laughs> this is God tier. I've never, Swedish fish, not Swedish fish are some of the best candy. I don't think I have ever. I don't think I've ever 
ever in my life heard somebody so pro Swedish fish. They're so just met to me. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I mean, I'll put them in God tier. Like, it sounds no, like you guys no, are pretty you can't, set no, on it. No, it's it against the be, rules. And it has to be good. But the only correct opinion to have about Swedish fish no, is uh, indifference. No, you're crazy. The, the, the Swedish fish have the best texture you know of any gummy candy you could ever have. This all makes sense that you're a jelly belly guy. Oh, my gosh. This I all can't. makes sense. I'm putting it in God tier just to appease you. Un no, that's not the rule. No, I no. I don't want it in God tier. Nope. What do you want? Let the record show. Put it on good. That because, it's in good. Yeah. Because Kenny's. Kenny because Kenny has poor taste. Doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm I'm good with it and good. Yeah, it has to be in good it because you be. said free. I'll eat it. If it's free, I'll eat it. Oh. I knew Kevin's opinion on this because I've seen him smash a full. <laughs> large bag of swedish fish in 15 minutes before we went on a hike it was disgusting <laughs> i felt so bad and then we're on the hike and it, all kevin's saying is i think i ate those swedish fish too fast Ugh. i they were gone in an instant it was supposed to last like a whole car ride of like two hours they were gone so uh, fast um case says the fact that we even went on a hike before that was insane by the way case says swedish fish great and then she asked do you guys have rita's or is that regional they made a swedish fish italian ice Ooh. um i don't know what rita's is so i believe that's probably regional i mean it sounds awesome though I mean, it does sound good. Swedish fish, also, Italian ice. Here's my thing on the Swedish fish. It's got to be like the bigger ones. They have the smaller ones. Yeah. And I'm still going to eat them. But like, I need that, the bigger consistency. And also Trader really... Joe's has a knockoff Swedish fish called Scandinavian Swimmers. Those They're are also so very good. good. They're so good. Let's just, let and me just put this on the record. And then they have sour ones. And those are very the sour good. ones then, go crazy. I'm going to say this. And this, I think you guys will agree with this. Trader Joe's knockoff stuff is better than everything trader joe's trader is joe's awesome. is just the greatest i like, had trader joe's pretzel like the pretzel chips like the ones that they smoosh mm -hmm. and they're far better than like those name brand ones like they're so um, much better trader joe's makes some dark chocolate peanut butter cups that oh. are out of this world oh. um they make some like peanut butter like cookie things that are unbelievable Oh, Kenny's Kenny's doing the right thing too. He's Me. pulling them out of the fridge. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yes. Yep, those are so good. I've, I've uh Trader Joe's. I I'm glad that I don't live too close to a Trader Joe's. See, these are so problem. good. And I told Kate day, when I she was looking that. at jobs, like I think it's a requirement that we move back to a city that has a Trader Joe's. We've gotten hey. too used to it. Hey, you don't have thing. them in Nashville? No, we do. Oh, okay. Here's the thing. Oh, for this job. Okay. Guys, I have them quiet. Listen. I think my wife bought these for herself, and I've been eating them on the reg without her knowing. I, Kenny, I think unless she knows. Unless she specifically unless you're said replacing these are them. mine. <laughs> okay, well, I just they're really they're really good. So I've and been sneaking. Kenny, them. Kenny, you missed it, but I said you did the you're doing the absolute yeah, right thing by pulling the them out of the fridge. Like, I, why would you not put them in the fridge? Yeah, there's supposed you to did. be. There's supposed well, to don't be you buy? Aren't, don't you buy them from the refrigerated section and trade? No, you do not. No, I thought you no, did. they are like in the no, candy no. section. They're just with all the other candy that's sitting above the frozen food. Oh, okay, that's okay. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I mean, those would be god dear. I went on vacation last summer, and there was a Trader Joe's across the street from our Airbnb. And I've never spent more on snacks. I think I went to Trader Joe's six they're, times in so 48 hours. Oh my God. I always hate it. Our right Trader now. Joe's is literally five minutes from our place. It's wonderful. Oh, so Although, nice. Trader Joe's on a Sunday is my nightmare. Uh, and I yeah. always pick oh, yeah. the wrong line. It's terrible. Every time. Every time. Well, here's Every the thing. Time. Here's the thing about Trader Joe's on the weekends. Oh my God, that's good. If you go on Saturday or Sunday, it's the worst. Because they're yeah. small stores. Everybody goes to Trader Joe's. You got to go on like at Tuesday at like two o'clock. Yeah, that's the time to go to Trader Joe's. All right. Anyways, we got two left. We're we we took a big detour there. This is a long episode, over an hour now. Uh, bottled water. Yeah. Why? Get out of here with that. I'm not going to the theater to get a bottled water. Dasani. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. And then finally, Parmesan wisps. 
What? Is I mean, what? I... what is a wisp? I've never even heard of those. I think it's like a just like a like a cheese. It's like a kid out of here snack. with that. Just like get out of here with that. Just that's been cooked. Just get out of here with that. That's yeah. for like dipping into. Just get out of here with Maybe that. Maybe have it when you're at home, when you're watching a movie. Yeah, Correct. like next to a veggie tray or something. I don't know. Oh, man. Guys, we did it. Look at that list. That is a good list. That's a lot of stuff in there. That is a, lot. That is a long one. Damn, dude. I thought it was like, ah, three people. We all agree on snacks. <laughs> Apparently, we don't. Uh, so it took a lot longer than usual. There big disagreements usual. there. Yeah. yeah. That, was a, that was a colorful episode, if you will. But that that's going to bring us to the end of it um guys thank you so much for joining me on this adventure this culinary adventure through the movie culinary. theater um we are the cine boys part of the cork bats uh podcast network be sure to follow us on twitter and instagram at the cine boys uh, also be sure to check out cork bats on twitter and instagram and tiktok at cork bats um be sure to visit corkbats.com as well we'll probably post these at some point uh on there and have a little uh maybe put the video on there as well um, also, be sure to check out youtube.com slash corkbats. And of course, we are a podcast. So be sure to follow us on uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Um, if you listened to this episode, we highly recommend that you watch it on YouTube or watch it on Spotify because this is very much a visual episode. Um, Thank you to Jonesy Joe, K Mingo, uh, of course, Uncut Brody making an appearance. Always a pleasure when Uncut Brody stops by. Uh, but that's going to be it for us. Do you guys have anything else you want to say? I think I'm coming away from this episode a little scarred. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought I knew you guys better than I than I do apparently. Honestly, and the most egregious take to me wasn't even something that was on the board. It's the jelly bean take from that- me. This is just so I, so wrong. You guys are ignorant. I can't. Oh, we, it's going to take me some time ones. to recover from that one. I okay. think. Well, I you have that a was full, just a global agreement. You have a full two weeks before we come back and, and record new episodes. Yeah. So. Okay. That that'll be enough time. Yeah. That'll that should give you enough time. All right. Well. Bye, guys. Horns down. Horns down. <laughs>